Okay, welcome everybody to Ask Trinity Archives. I'm Joe Lipinski. And I'm Marissa Mags. And we are two archivists working in the archives at Trinity Church Wall Street. Um, Trinity Church has a fascinating history that dates all the way back to 1697. And in this new video series, we'll be sharing pieces of that history with you. Three questions that you, the audience, ask of us, the archives. Next question is for you, Marissa. Yeah. What is the oldest grave in Trinity's churchyard? Sure. So our oldest grave is that of Richard Churcher, who died at five years old in 1681, which you might note is 16 years before the founding of Trinity in 1697. So if anyone's unfamiliar with the physical setup of Trinity and its churchyards, we have a north and south churchyard separated by the church in the middle. It's no secret that the north churchyard where Richard Stone sits was a public burial ground long before Trinity existed. Trinity sits at the intersection of Broadway and Wall Street, which was actually a wall in early New York, separating the new city from the countryside north of it. This wall would have made what we now know of as the North Churchyard outside of city limits, which was considered the appropriate place to bury the dead. So Richard Churcher's grave is merely the oldest legible stone. We can say that there are certainly many, many souls buried there that predate 1681. So please feel free to leave questions for us about Trinity's history, things in our archives, archival practice, and whatever they are, we'll do our best to answer them in an upcoming video.